Well, what's up you guys? Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. And if you're brand new to the channel or brand new to the Baby Pips uh, Education video series, I do video tutorials of all the Baby Pips lessons. And at the moment, in this particular video, we're gonna go into grade four, which is all about moving averages. But you can click the link below, which goes into everything to do with grade one, which is support and resistance, grade two, which is Japanese candlesticks, and grade three, which is Fibonacci. So again, the links to those lessons are all in the description. And in this particular uh, video, we're gonna go into the first lesson of moving averages, which what are moving averages and before i do that i'll just quickly go into what else is involved in grade four so we're going to go through what moving averages are and then the two main types of moving averages which is the sma and the ema what is the difference between the two and then we're going to get into the meat of the bones of understanding how we can use moving averages to not only find trends but also how to enter trends either through the classic moving average crossover strategy how to use moving averages with support and resistance and also how we use moving average uh, envelopes as well ribbons the guppy multiple moving average which i've talked about a number of times on this channel and then summing everything up so a lot to go through in grade four for moving averages so let's get to the first part which is what are moving averages and in this lesson it talks about what moving averages are shows you a few examples and then it goes into um, why moving averages are important uh, because price as you know does not go in a straight line uh, unfortunately and then it goes into the different types of lengths of a moving averages uh, to get a different view of the market structure so what we're going to do now we're going to head over to the charts We'll throw a couple of moving averages in MT4 and we'll go into it in a bit more detail. So I've just got up a Euro USD 30 minute chart of live price action. And what we're going to do is throw up a moving average. And the good news is in MT4 or any charting platform, moving averages are kind of the basic most standards of indicators and all charting platforms will, will have a moving average indicator. So the way you add in a moving average indicator in MT4 is you go to insert, indicators trend and moving average now as i said before moving averages uh kind of smooth out price action and the way it does that is by taking the average close price for the last x number of periods or x number of bars so in this particular example what i'm showing here is we're looking at uh the last 50 periods or the last 50 bars uh, in terms of price action. So what it'll do, it'll calculate the close price of the last 50 bars and then pot, plot uh, the moving average, uh, a dot or a line as you'll see in a second, as the moving average. In terms of the MA method, and again, we'll go into this in future videos in this grade four series, is there are four to choose from as part of the MT4 platform and the two that are most commonly used is the simple moving average and the exponential moving average. So I'll just keep it as a simple moving average for now. Um, and then you set your colors and your styles, but we'll just keep it as blue. So now what you can see is with this 50 period moving average, you can clearly see that e just by looking at the price action, <clears throat> Price was in a it price was in a downward trend and now has started to range, um, and you can clearly see the the move, the 50 period moving average is kind of following that trend um, as a downward move and it started to flatten out by this kind of consolidation of uh, price uh, price action, and this is a perfect segue into utilizing different periods or different moving average average length to tell you a, a different story about the market so at this point we've got a 50 period moving average if i add in another moving average and i put a shorter time frame let's say i put a 10 period moving average and if i just change the color to red you can see there that um, the moving average is a lot closer to price because we're using less data. It's only looking at the last 10 bars. So 
the less number of periods or bars that you use, <clears throat> the closer the moving average will reflect price action. It still has smoothed out price, but it <clears throat> it is moving a lot closer to what the price is doing. And then if I add in another moving average and use the 100 moving average, which is quite a popular <clears throat> moving average to use amongst uh, institutions and retail investors, um, and I'll just stick it with this deep pink color for now, you can see how it's taken a lot longer for price to go into the downward uh, downward direction. And that's because it's using 100 periods of data to do it. So <clears throat> traditionally, if you use a, as they call it, a fast moving average, so a small number of periods, that is that <clears throat> is more of a less lagging indicator. The moving average is a laggy, lagging indiv indicator by definition, but the closer you are to price action, the less laggy it becomes. Um, and um, what people potentially do, and I'll go into this in future videos, is kind of use multiple moving averages, and we'll go into that in Guppy's uh, GGMMA kind of analysis of how you can use multiple moving averages to help determine trends and counter trend trading and all that kind of good stuff. So you can get, even though it's a very simple indicator on the face of it, um, it can get uh, quite uh, comprehensive and you can use it in a multiple, <coughs> multiple, multiple ways, which we'll go into later on inside this series. So <coughs> what I wanted to do is just quickly show you um, the difference between or how it looks between an SMA and an EMA. So at the moment, I've just kept on the uh, 50 period simple moving average. <coughs> Apologies. And then if I just select uh, the 50 period exponential, <coughs> you can see it's roughly the same. It's just, it's calculated slightly differently, which we'll go into in a second in future videos. Um, but you can see here, it roughly tells you the same thing. So a lot of people say, what's the difference between the two? And it's one better than, the, better than the other. Personally, you know, I do have a preference. I do prefer EMAs over SMAs, but um, ultimately I don't think it actually makes that much of a difference. So hopefully you found this introduction video to moving averages useful. Um, click the thumbnail on the screen if if the latest video in this lesson is the next lesson has been created by the time you watch this, you'll see that about simple moving averages. If not, you'll have some other content about moving averages on the screen, which will also help you uh, better understand moving averages. And I shall see you guys in the next video.